Slaying the Giant of Grief. Grief has the ability to help us heal. As we mourn a family member, friend, loved one, or move to a new location, change a job, or say goodbye to someone we loved, there is pain. With God, we don't mourn like those who have no hope. We move through the hurt to hope. We walk through the valley of grief, but there is a promise on the other side. God knew we would grieve. Even Jesus had moments of grief. However, if grief takes over our lives, we can become unable to enjoy the things we once did. We lose our joy, become isolated, and miss out on all the wonderful things God has planned for our future. These scriptures were prayerfully collected to help you walk through your season of grief and come out the other side with the help and healing that only God can give. There is hope. You are not alone. Jesus wept, John 11:35. I am weary with my groaning. All night I make my bed swim. I drench my couch with my tears. Psalm 6 to 6. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. Matthew 26, 38. And he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you, and people for your life. Isaiah 41, 1 through 2 and 4. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, Psalm 18, 2. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, Psalm 147, 3. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit, Psalm 34, 18. He will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken, Isaiah 25, 8. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted, Matthew 5, 4. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, John 14, 1. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you, 1 Peter 5, 7. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Show me a sign for good, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Psalm 86-17 For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalm 35. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Psalm 9.9. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 through 39. Dear Lord, we pray for each person watching this video and give thanks to you, God, that you are with them. Your love for them will never fail, but encompasses them as they walk through this season. Lord, just as your word promises, lead them through grief and let your joy be their strength. Comfort them, heal their broken heart, and overwhelm them with your presence, which brings the promise of peace. You are good and faithful, Lord. By your son, Jesus, we know that you understand the pain as we grieve, and you are the answer to our healing with fullness of joy. In Jesus' name, amen.